Hi uh, guys, yes, the idol episode two review, baby. <laughs> Back again. Back again. Let me get the episode title. Real quick. Double fantasy, there we go. We got some double fantasy to talk about today. So remember to do like, share, subscribe. This show keeps getting more interesting and more interesting as the show is going on. This only episode two, and there's so much to unpack in the show already. My goodness, mental health. My goodness, this the industry wanting to be a star. This reminds me of Neon Demon, Starry Eyes. Anyone seen those two movies? Oh, rah. If you know, you know. Two of my favorite books, Suspiria. Hey, got to sacrifice something to be a star. Those are my three movies. If you like stuff like The Idol, go check those three movies out. Um, but yeah, it's, I love this. I love the show so far. People are ragging on it because they're saying they're fanta of their fantasizing and mental illness, like making it glamorous. They're not doing that. They're not doing that. Anyone seen these two episodes? They don't want to, they don't want to, they don't want to think that, nah. Some stupid people out there thinking that, nah, stupid. They're not fetishizing it, they're not fan making it fan um, making it glorious, glorifying it, nah, they're not doing that. You obviously ain't watching the show properly to make that kind of statement. You obviously haven't seen the episode minute to minute to make that kind of statement. I want to see what this, I want to see what they're watching. I want to be there when they're doing it. Don't trust them. Bunch of liars out here. But um, yeah, Able Man has been a great show. He helped make this great show right now. I'm, I'm hooked right now on this show. Um, so the majority of this um, episode, episode two, he got um my girl here, Lee Rose Depp, Jocelyn, um, trying to make this music video work uh, because uh. She at first showed her crew, her agents, you know, saying her managers, this new version, this new remixed um, version of a hit single, of a single, and they don't like it because <laughs> she's doing a lot of uh, I'm breathing. I'm not like what the <laughs> I like that. That's actually like trash. But <laughs> to be honest, some of the managers that's like garbage. But um, she wants to. Uh, this his name this song, Tedros, Ted, no, Ted, Tedros, The Weekend, Abel. She runs to him, gives him a phone call, says, don't like my new, the new remix track. And he's like, uh, don't worry about it, man, don't worry about it, big. That kind of thing, <laughs> that whispering talk to try and get into your mind, bro, them ones. This guy, <laughs> Abel's doing a great job at, as a character in the show, bro. This guy is the ultimate finesse. This guy's the king of finesse. She rings him up and, and she's like, what are you doing? He's like, nothing. Just me. By myself. <laughs> no, what the? He's got a gang of people in his, in his restaurant, in his, um, in his club. <laughs> he's got all of his people there. Um, he's got the girls there. He's got um, his boy in there who uh, Le Leah likes. He's got his name, Isaac. The big Dennis Rodman looking guy. He's he's there talking to Leia on the other you know, on the other side of the table. Uh, so the both of them are just cooking up scheming out here, bro. Scheming. So I'm like, so you saw that? I was like, yo, it's about to go down. They're about to get played. Her and her friends are about to get played. It's about to be glorious. <sighs> That's what glorious in the show because uh, this is a very well thought out. Thrill. This is a thriller right here. It's the all out. Thrillers, bro. That was some horror elements. <laughs> the way Tedros rocks up to this built to this house is hilarious. Smoke, everything, you know, that robe. But um, yeah, she did so the crux of this um episode. She's trying to do this music video. She's looking all nice, looking gorgeous out here. Very big and <sighs> rose dead, bro. Oh, my gosh. Hooey, hooey. Okay. I'm not even into Rose Depp type, to her body type. I'm not even into that. But she 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 wears that body well. I don't know, I don't know what it is. 
She looked good to me. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. He's trying to do his routine. She keeps saying stop and start. The, the, um, the producer's getting upset. You know what I'm saying? The director's getting upset. This music video. Because Rupert Guy danced with her, her, her friends helping her as well. Diana. Her, um, her friend. Um, who later on we see is working with Tedros. Apparently he works for she works for Tedros and uh, he's looking for an investment because apparently she he's um Josh Nicky's messing up. Her manager wants to sign Diane because she can sing and dance too. So she's or she's or she's looking for an out to replace Jocelyn on the label. Um, and uh, basically who is it? Shame Hank Azaria him and. Destiny, Chairman and Destiny are literally trying to figure out who Tedros is. Like, who is this guy she keeps talking to? Getting all these ideas in her head. What's going on? Because um, Destiny gives her a pep talk because she keeps stopping and starting and said, hey, we need to do this night now. They're going to drop you off this label. They're going to drop you in the ocean, honey. Let's get to work. Let's get, get it popping. So then that kind of high side drop a little bit. Um, and then they kind of ask Leah, like, who, where the heck, who is this Tedros guy? Where is he from? So they kind of like, do a background check on him. He was in Hawaii. He was somewhere. Um, he's like he's just a guy who's almost like a ghost. He's got hardly any information known about him. So that's kind of shady as it is. So they're kind of like yes, yeah, suspect, creepy as heck. So then she, Jocelyn, finally doubles down the music video, the strip club music video. Does a good job, but it doesn't even get recorded. <laughs> it doesn't even get recorded, bro. <laughs> Camera goes out of focus. Oh, that's insane. I was like, oh, wow. Goes out of focus out of nowhere. So, um, yeah, so she has a breakdown. She calls for her mommy. She's like, mommy, mommy. Everyone looking like, what the freak? She's having a whole mental breakdown in front of them. And she's like, no, 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 I need nothing. It wasn't me, man. It wasn't me. Anyone seen, um, <laughs> I'm a guilty sucker. I was screaming, man. I was screaming. That's basically what she, what she did. Like, mommy, I didn't say no, mommy. Talk about she, she died last year. I don't, I don't talk about no mommy. What are you, what you talking about? So then, um, yeah, she said that. <laughs> and then she uh, she breaks down crying. Her feet are bleeding. She tries to go forward. She said, then she goes, you know what? Yeah, we'll do this tomorrow. I'll pay for all of this. She was probably for 50000 That was the, the whole shoot. Uh, so she'll pay for it. And then uh, she goes home. Shame talks talks to her, her, her main man. He goes, hey, 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 Jocelyn. You need to get together, baby. You got no money left, you know what I'm saying? We're just we're feeding off scraps right now. You need exposure. You need to get get these hits out there, bro. You're running on fumes right now. So he kind of gives her, like, the real. So then she brings uh, Tedros over to the house. This whole demonic Tedros over to the house, bro. <laughs> Look at the whole demon out here, bro. Brings a couple of friends along. Uh, Isaac rocks up to go talk to Leah. To go get a parking with Leah. And, uh, yeah. They throw down in the bedroom elsewhere. And uh, Ted Rose and Jocelyn, they throw down as well. <laughs> in the most savage way. Oh, my gosh. It was a spectacle. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's got the talk, let's just say that, bro. He's got that mouthpiece, bro. He can talk his butt off. He can talk his butt off. She believed every word of what's going on. And to end the episode, she... Well, well, I should say, Leah kind of looks at Tedros in like a concerning way to kind of say, he has her hooked, and he does. He looks at her, looks at Leah, Leah looks at him. And then they lock eyes for a bit. And then Jocelyn starts uh, kissing Tedros. And that's how the episode ends. So, hey, Leah's going to become a problem. I'm going to see how Tedros handles that problem. Because he even said he wants to, he's going to move in at some point. So she's going to let him move in. And all hell's going to break loose. And it's going to be iconic TV. So, uh, all the haters out there hating on this show, forget you. Enjoy this show. This show is good right now. First, Great first two episodes. I mean, I'm hooked. Everyone involved in the show, well done. I'm, I'm hooked. I'm good. I'm good on the show. It's awesome. The show is amazing right now. It's keeping keep me locked in. Hopefully, HBO keeps the show cooking. Let's go.
fucking ready. Anyways, tell me you guys into the comment section down below. I know there's a lot of haters out there. Hey, I'm ready. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, press that notification bell. You know what to do. Description box below for any more info. If you want to donate to the channel, go the extra mile. Cash app. I'm saying UK pound sign, Legend of Old. And uh, yeah, I'm out. Peace.